Good morning. It is Sunday, July 30th, 2023. Sean's Poker Adventures is back. That's right. Playing some live cards today. I have a free day. It's Sunday. I'm on the tail end of a vacation week where I went to San Diego, Legoland, the zoo with the kids. And so today, I'm gonna get one live session in before my Vegas trip next week. Going in, uh, I think, 11 days. It's gonna be a three day Vegas trip. Should be a lot of fun. This is my last chance to get some live poker in. I'm going down to Bay 101 in San Jose. It's about 7.30 in the morning. There's a 9.15 tournament. I believe it's $200, no rebuy. See if I can build up some chips, build a big stack, play chip bully. Usually I play pretty tight in tournaments. I think I'm gonna try to ramp up my aggression a little. See if I can build a big stack or go out, try to win or go home early. If I bust out, just play some cash game, some limit. I think they have some 816, which I love to play. I'm just gonna get a little exercise here and head down there, pack a little mobile breakfast, be ready to play, be focused, determined to win the tournament, baby. Last time I was at Bay 101, I had quads two times in one day, which is pretty memorable. I think that's the only time that's ever happened in 20 years of playing poker. So I got good vibes. And let's do this. Let's win some money. Build a bankroll for my Vegas trip. All right, I'll check in on the way. Later. Just me and the horses up this early. Hey, buddy. What are you looking at? signed up for the $200 buy-in tournament. We have 18 minutes to mentally prepare to go all day, final table, and win. Let's go. Three, four grand maybe? There's already 74 entrants and the tournament hasn't even started. So that's a nice little prize pool. I'm ready. I haven't played a tournament, maybe one tournament this year. And I basically folded the entire tournament. It was miserable. <laughs> so let's see if we can make some big hands early, build a big stack, and apply some pressure to the regulars who play this every day. They're like, who's this tall, skinny guy taking all my money? So we'll check in. Hopefully we're gonna get some big chip stack photos right after this video. And here we go. Let's run it up. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Here we go. What'd I say about running up that stack? 
this first break we've played four levels and it's 20 minute levels. We started with 20,000 in chips and I am currently at 80,300. I got to be one of the biggest stacks in the tournament right now. Um, it's been going great. Started off hot. I raised with ace king, got a call. Flop came ace king six. Took down a nice pot. Then I raised with queens, with the queen of spades. By the turn, it was 9, 10, 8 of spades, so I had the over pair with the straight flush draw. When I bet, the guy stayed with me. River was a queen, we checked it, so I won with my set. Raised it up with kings, won a nice pot. And then this hand came up. Check it out. At this point, I've already built up a pretty good stack. I'm at 37,900 to start this big hand that came up. And again, I started with 20k, so I've almost doubled my stack already pretty early in the tournament. So the blinds are 200, 400 with a 400 big blind ante. There was a raise to 800 in early position, one call, and then I made a mistake. I misclicked and I put out a 500 chip and a 1000 chip thinking I was calling and they, they forced me to call that a raise to 1500. It was totally a mess up and I rarely ever do that. But I had Jack of Diamonds, 10 of Hearts, and I was like, eh, whatever, let's just go with it. Can't do anything at this point. There were three calls, so a couple of the guys that were in stayed and one other person called. The dream flop after my misclick, flop comes queen eight nine with two diamonds, flop the nuts straight, best hand possible. The first guy who raised to 800 bets out for 6,700. It was a huge bet, almost pot size, and he only had 5,000 behind. And again, I'm I'm the big stack here. Um, the only other guy, well, one person folds. The only other guy in has 7k left, and again, that other guy only has 5k behind. So I just go all in for my whole stack. The guy to my left calls his 7,000 for his tournament life. And the original guy who bet the 6,700 calls all in with his final 5,000. We flip up the hands. Obviously, I'm ahead. I have the nuts. The first guy who just called off the rest of his stack had king 10. No pair with a gut shot straight draw. And the guy to my left who shoved all in for 7K, he had King of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, for a gut shot straight draw and a flush draw and an overcard. The good news was I had a blocker and they each had blockers for each other, so that's good for me. Turn and river come out, nothing, and I take down an enormous pot, ending the hand with 62,500, now more than triple my starting stack. So it's always fun to win a three-way all-in. Doesn't happen very often. It put me in a nice position. And then just kind of holding steady, seeing some flops because I got a lot of chips to play with and the blinds are still small compared to my stack. So another pretty big hand came up for me to build my stack even better. Enjoy this one. So here's another sweet hand that came up for me to build my stack even more. The blinds are 300, 600 with a 600 big blind ante, and I started the hand with 66,900. A young aggressive kid to my right raised to 1,500. I called with jack 10 offsuit, jack of spades, 10 of clubs, and there were two other calls. Flop came queen of hearts, nine of spades, four of hearts, so queen nine four with two hearts. The young aggressive kid bets 2,000. I called with the open-ended straight draw and two folds behind. The turn was the eight of clubs, giving me the nut straight. Second time I've had the nuts with Jack 10. He checks this time and I bet 5,000. He thinks about it for a minute and he calls. Rivers the king of hearts, putting the third heart out there and he insta shoves his remaining stack of 7,000. Just looking at the guy, super, aggressive young kid he just looks like he would represent this flush most of the time i wasn't really afraid of the flush at this point because he slowed down on the turn i feel like he would continue to bet 
since he had the lead, having flopped a flush draw. So I just wasn't worried about the flush at all. So I call, and of course, I'm happy to hear him say, do you have two pair? And I was like, no, I have the straight. So he just mucks his cards and stands up and leaves, and I busted him. Ending the hand with 86,000, probably the tournament chip leader at this point. So we're going into level five. I think this is the end of buy-ins and because there's no no rebuys, just single a single entry, my favorite kind of tournament. Uh, I think we're at 120-ish players. Prize pool's getting near maybe 30,000. So that's legit for a little Sunday tournament. So I still have over 100 big blinds, so I'm gonna just keep raising it up, trying to steal some pot, see some flops, flop big again. Maybe I can get another jack 10 and flop the nuts again. That'd be nice. It's my hand of the day so far. So I will check in, hopefully with more, more stacks, more chips, on my way to the final table. Let's go. Okay, we're at second break. That last hour was pretty uneventful, but I did add a little bit to my stack. I'm sitting at 83,700. Blinds are about to be 1,500 with a 1,500 big blind ante, so I still had plenty of room. I'm over double average. There are 173 entries. We're down under 100 players. Uh, looks like top 22 get paid. First place is about 7,000 between seven and eight. It's a nice prize pool. I'm gonna wolf down half a sandwich. Here we go. Let's just keep going. I'm trying to not play big pots. Stick and move as they say in boxing. Pick my spots. So let's just keep the keep this momentum going, baby. Final table, here we come. <laughs> Okay, here's a quick hand that came up that's really disappointing for me. I was doing so well. I'm still sitting at 64,000, which is three times what I started with and well above average. The blinds are 1,000, 2,000 with a 2,000 big blind ante. And I was dealt ace of hearts, queen of diamonds. So a guy to my right limped in for 2,000, the big blind. Guy to my direct right also limped in for 2,000, and I raised to 6,000 with my ace queen. Everyone else folds except these two guys, and they both called. Flop comes queen of hearts, five of diamonds, two of diamonds, so queen high with two diamonds. The guy, the first guy to act checks, the guy to my immediate right goes all in for 33,000. I re raise all in for my remaining 56,000 and the other guy folds. We flip up our hands, he has seven of diamonds, eight of diamonds, so he's got the flush draw, no pair, just a flush draw, turns a nine of diamonds, giving him the flush, but I have the, the diamond redraw with the queen of diamonds. Rivers is six of diamonds, everyone erupts like I sucked him out, and I thought I did too. Turns out he makes the straight flush, the gut shot straight flush hits on the river, he takes the monster pot of 89,000, leaving me with just 25,000, and I would have been at 114,000. Still in it, third break. It's been a roller coaster as expected as the blinds get high. I'm at 65,000. 
My high point in the tournament was about 90. Lost some crucial hands. Went all the way down to 20K. Built it up to 60. Lost a pretty big hand with pocket tens on a king high board and I didn't believe the guy had a king and he did. Back down to about 25. And then I just stole the blinds twice. And there's 10K out there each time. Uh, so 65K blinds are about to be three and six. So I have 10 big blinds. There's about 35 left and 22 get paid. So I'm getting close to the money. Probably need one big double up or a big hand to, to lock up the cash. So here we go. Going back in for more roller coaster ride. I thought I was done with amusement parks, but I guess not because these roller coasters are insane. <laughs> that was a good one, right? Okay, see you in a bit. Five and a half hours later, we are headed home, baby. <laughs> 173 players. Uh, got 19th place. Top 22 got paid, so I made the money. Bought in for 200, cashed out for 360, so I profited 160. Super happy about that. I was very, very, very short on the bubble. And for those of you who do not know, the bubble is when you're playing hand for hand with the tables that are left and the next bust out gets zero. So everyone's rooting for a bust out. That's the hand that you do not want to bust, the last person to not make the money. I've done it multiple times. It's the worst feeling in poker. But I made the money. I was super short stack, so I'm happy to take any sort of profit and drive home with a little bit of extra money in my pocket that I can bring to Vegas for the cash games. Super fun. I'm glad I did this. I hadn't played a tournament in a while. I love tournament poker. It's it's really intense and you have to think a lot and read your opponents a lot. So had fun. So I'm headed home. I'm gonna have a nice relaxing evening. And I will see you next week, August 10th, Thursday, where I'm going to the Orleans for a three-day poker adventure. Sean's poker adventures is back, baby. First tournament cash of 2023. Let's go!